Hi, everybody. Um, I kind of struggled a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. I've wanted to do a video for you guys. Um, and really, I just wanted to highlight a brand that I really, really like. But my struggle was the brand that I'm talking about is Rockin' Republic Cosmetics. And as many of you probably know, Rockin' Republic Cosmetics has been discontinued. You cannot get them on their website anymore. I know that they were having some crazy sales on Hot Look, which is actually how I got my hands on the first Rockin' Republic products that I tried. Um, and now I haven't seen anything on Hot Look for a while, so I don't know if they're going to be doing that again. I can say that they are available on eBay. There are some eBay sellers that probably picked it up from that sale and are now reselling it. And there is one or two other places that I have found it. Um, another great place to get your hands on it is doing swaps. Uh, swaps at Makeup Alley or uh, anybody that you know that might have makeup or might have makeup products from Rock and Republic that they just didn't work for them or they want to get rid of. Um, all of the products I think I'm going to show you, I have purchased brand new. I don't think any of them I did in swaps. Uh, I will say if you try to swap somebody for it, they know that it's discontinued and they're going to want the world for it. Um, one of the things I really wanted to try out was a Rockin' Republic blush and they went lickety split. They apparently are really, really great and the people that did get their hands on it are now selling it for ridiculous amounts of money. So anyway, um, I figured I would tell you guys about it because I've really loved everything that I've used and I didn't want to use it in videos later on and have everybody ask me where to get it and that sort of thing and have to tell them that, you know, it's like not around. Um, so I figured at least while you can still get your hands on it, I would go ahead and tell you um, about it. And really what I wanted to talk to you about is the brushes. I'm going to go over all the products that I have. But I wanted to highlight the brushes because these are the Rockin' Republic brushes I have. I think I'm only missing two. Two brushes, I think, um, from their whole collection. Not including, like, the Kabuki brush, which I think only came with the bronzer duo, which is, like, crazy. It's, like, $150 or something. I'm not buying that. Um... <laughs> But anyway, I first bought this brush. And this right here is a fluffy brush. It is number 203. And if you see, it is just a nice fluffy brush. It is it is a great brush. It is nice and tapered. Um, very fluffy but still dense. I use this for blending. I also use this under my eyes to set my concealer. Um... And that's, that's two basic purposes that I use it for. And I love it. I love it a lot. And so after I got that and used it for a little while, I kind of went on the hunt to try to find some more. Because, you know, it's going to be impossible to find these suckers soon. So the next brush I think I got was this big shader brush. And this is number 201. And then I thought, I think I got this little... Um, little itty bitty detailing brush which is 206 um you know I'm lying I'm missing a brush I have one more brush I have um I have a pencil brush but I didn't find it in my brush stuff so I'll have to see if I can find it lying okay I wasn't lying I just forgot it <laughs> uh but anyway I think I got the pencil brush with this with uh these two as well so I started using that in the pencil brush. I love the pencil brush, which is what made me think of it. Uh, it is so great for getting underneath your eyes or doing little details. This is amazing for the inner corner of the eye. This one right here, this little detailing brush. This one is really great for laying on um, color if you want to pack it on. I've actually turned it sideways and been able to blend out with it too, so it's a great multitasking brush. And this one is a smaller eyeshadow brush, also great for putting color on. I'm dropping them now. So the small eyeshadow brush is a 202. And then I got the face brush, which is really nice because it's a flat top brush. The bristles, 
it's so soft and it's nice and dense like you can see it has some give to it but not a lot um, this one is 101 I want the blush brush but I have not been able to find that one um, that goes with this and then I think the only one I'm missing is the angled brush so anyhow these brushes are fantastic um, I feel like they're still reasonably priced from people who are selling them online like I said I think I found a online distributor or not distributor but online website that are selling them at a pretty reasonable price I feel like $15 might be what they're selling most of these for which I think originally they were in the $30 range so that's still really good maybe $20 to $30 range but I think they're excellent brushes that everybody not everybody should have but if you love brushes and you're a collector like I am it's awesome to get your hands on they are the perfect length I feel like great for working with I love that they're metal I don't know why maybe because I have no other brushes that are metal but um I just think they're really nice and smooth to work with and I love them so if you are interested in trying them out I'm gonna put some put a link to um, the site that I found that is still selling them and also uh, you can check on eBay as well and try to get your hands on them now because uh, you know they're gonna be impossible to find here shortly the other brush that I didn't mention is I also have this adorable lip brush and this is a rock and republic brush it's one of those that you can like pop in your bag and what I love is the top of it closes completely and then you open it just by pulling it and the brush comes out just like the rest of them it's a great great brush it's a great size nice and small I mean you can see there's my fingers right there nice and small for detailing this brush only came with a lip gloss that I got and this is the lip gloss. This is the packaging. Don't you love it? I love it. It's called Femme Fatale Noir. It is red. Now they call it a gloss. Look at that. It's just a bright, pretty red. They call it a gloss, but this is the most beautiful, wearable, red, glossy color that also really stains your lips. Um, it does not look gross and bleated all over the place. Bleated, bleeding all over the place. Um, it does not look like too much. I feel like you could wear this during the daytime. Um, I'm already wearing lipstick or I'd put it on. I, I love it. It's so pretty. Um, so if you can find that, I think they're getting really hard to find. This little set came together and I love it. It's really heavy too. Like it the packaging is solid metal. I know it looks like it might be plastic, but it's metal. And it is really heavy. It feels, well, you know, not really heavy, but it's it's definitely weighted quality. Maybe that's the word I was looking for. So there's that brush. And with that, I will show you my other glosses that I have. I also love these. These you can also track down a couple different places. Um, if you love lip gloss and you don't like sticky lip gloss, I would highly recommend picking these up. I have six colors. I love every one of them. And I use all of them often. The first one here is a really dramatic red color. And it is called Cougar. <laughs> the next one I have is called Vacant. And it's kind of a nude color. There's that. This one is my absolute favorite. Yeah. It's called Mistress. I wear this one a lot. You know what? I'm still... I'm missing another one, too, because I feel like I have another one that I really like that's in that color range. And then this is called Preppy Pink, and it's just a light pink with kind of an iridesc iridescent quality to it. This one is gorgeous. It's called Loudmouth, and it is like hot pink, baby. There is no miss in this color. And then the other one I have is called Hot Sauce, and it's a really nice orange. So I'll go ahead and show you. Here is the applicator for them. And the gloss is just so beautiful. Like, look at that. 
and it smells like vanilla. Like you just want it smells like vanilla frosting. You just want to eat it. <laughs> um, so there is hot sauce. This is the red one that I was talking about, Cougar. And it is. It's like it's like painting with paint. Look at that. Really pretty. Nice, nice color. Here is Loudmouth, which is so vibrant. If you can see, pink color there. This is Preppy Pink, which is really, really sheer. This one is probably the sheerest one I have. You can see right there, just a really pretty pink gloss. This one is Mistress, gorgeous. If you look there, like most of these glosses, you don't have to worry about having a lipstick on with them. You don't have to worry about wearing a lip liner with them. They are just, they're amazing. I leave these in my purse all the time. I usually have two or three of them in there. And then that's the last color, which is called Vacant. And like I said, I know I'm missing one. I have one more somewhere. It's probably in my other purse. So those are the glosses that I have. Um, I know that you can still find some of those on eBay I've seen, and they're, you know, pretty reasonable in price too. So again, if it's something that you've been thinking about and you're on the fence, I love them. I highly recommend picking them up. I also was lucky enough to get um, a pressed powder. And this, sorry, it's super dirty, but look how amazing. I have gotten into depotting some of my stuff. I don't think I will ever depot these because the packaging is just so great. And also with these, kind of heavy too, so it's very luxurious. And there's my powder. You can see I've used it. And that's what it looks like. Um... It is, my color is satin, and it's actually a really good color for me. It does add a little bit of color to my face um, that's maybe just half a shade darker than me. Like, you can see it's a little bit. It actually almost gives me a, a little bit of a bronzing look when I use it. So, I really like it. And it comes with a really pretty mirror um, that's the whole size of this great big compact is a mirror, which is fabulous. I only have three of the eyeshadows, but I love them. Again, gorgeous packaging. Gorgeous. Um, this one is called Twisted. And that's what it looks like. It is like the most beautiful purple color. Look at that. And when you swatch it out, it looks like that it's like oh, it, it's got like a purpley blue look to it that's just incredible the other two I have are very light um, I have this one is a fair which is there you go it's kind of kitten-esque not exactly the same um, but still really gorgeous so there's that one, and then the last one I have is Veil, and I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> so there's Veil, and it's just a nice matte shade that is um, kind of off-white, which is great for underneath the brow bone or doing some highlight if you want like the inner corner to be matte. Otherwise, I would go with the other color, which was a fair. So anyway, that is my Rock and Republic collection. Um, I am gonna try to get some more eyeshadows if I can. They're great. They are, um, let's see, three grams. It's quite a bit of product. I feel like they're very big pans. If you look there, um, and I really do like them. I know they have tons of colors. They have like 30 colors, but I wasn't really sure when I first ordered them if I was going to like them, so I just got a couple. 
Um, and now that I know that I love them, I am going to try to track down the ones that I want to try the most. Um, I am going to try to track down the other two brushes that I don't have because, like I said, I love them. You'll notice my brushes are actually pretty dirty. That is because I've used them, like, every day. Um... So anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that if this was something that you ever had any inclination that you might want to try out, that now is definitely the time to try to track those products down before you can't find them at all. I know I popped on the Rock, Rock, Rockin' Republic website, and it's there's nothing. Like, you just go to a stagnant website. You can't really do anything with it. So I imagine they are closed for business for good. Um, so... Anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. But um, they are just great, luxurious products that are actually reasonably priced now that you can get them, you know, online after the fact. It's actually, it's one of these, these kind of products that you're afraid to lose. Little um, side note for you yesterday. I have a, a son. He is uh, 16 months. And so he is just kind of walking around furniture and stuff like that and holding on to things. And he's getting taller and bigger all the time. And um, by my front door, I have one of those kind of taller, I don't know what you call them, entryway tables, I guess. Um, which is a little bit taller and narrow. And usually he couldn't reach it. And I know that I said this in another video, but you guys may not know, um, our basement flooded not that long ago. So I have moved everything from my basement upstairs until we get the work done down there. And it's a fully finished basement down there. And so I had, um, my office, a bedroom and our entire family room. So I have stuff everywhere. Like if you can see, these are my display boards for, um, my business that I own. I just have stuff everywhere. And as a result, I've piled a bunch of stuff into my dressing room, which is where I have my dressing table uh, and all of my makeup normally. And so I can't really get to it. So I've been doing, I've been putting all my makeup on the table that's next to my door because there's a nice mirror there. Anyway, um, all that aside, the other day I ran into the kitchen to grab something to drink. And when I came back out, I saw my son was holding my foundation bottle that was sitting there, which is the Estee Lauder double wear, obviously glass container. So I kind of, um, I kind of reacted loudly. <laughs> I kind of did one of those things where you kind of yell the kid's name and and it scared him. And so in the process, he didn't drop the foundation, thank God. But um, he did knock it over on the table. It wasn't open, but it knocked off my Stila It Girl palette and um, my kitten shadow ended up shattering into like a billion pieces. And so I, I always say that like this one is kind of close to kitten, which is nice, but um, I, I got really upset, you know, as anybody would at first, and tried to clean it up, and then while I was cleaning it up, I was just thinking, thank goodness it wasn't my Rock and Republic shadow, um, because this one would be really hard to replace, and kitten I can get any time. So, if you do pick up any of these shadows, um, just make sure you put them in a safe place. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, that's all for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon.